So Sergeant Rose has moved his knights forward, and they're obviously threatening this, this block of infantry. Well, they're going to be down on them like a, the wolf on the fold, fold fairly soon, but I think they're just about in range. Yes, they are. So I'm going to shoot at them with this archer company, and by doing so, that will end the manoeuvre phase, the initial manoeuvre phase of the battle. So to shoot, I've got 12 figures, so it's 12 dice. It's long range, so I need to get a six. So let's see what, let's see what we come up with. Precisely nothing. So there you go. They're obviously very, very nervous about seeing these knights thundering down on them. So that's one of my six <coughs> arrow storms gone. Drat. So over to the car. Wet bowstrings or something. So Daniel Rose is licking his lips. Yeah. <laughs> so the um, initial maneuver phase has ended. So now the turn order is determined by drawing from the card deck. So, Steve. First card is Yorkish skirmishers. Right. So skirmishers here are going to move forwards and engage these crossbow men. So they'll come up to the edge of the hedge. Units can all do two actions, remember. So that's their move. Um, they'll fire on those. Yep. The artillery can't move, but um, they're going to open fire. Yep. And uh, the tastiest target will be these knights yep. here. Yep. So uh, we'll have a go at those. So, so artillery men, although I've modelled four men on the base, I can only use three of them to man the gun, and they get two dice each. So six dice in all, and I'm rolling for sixes. Try in there. Oh, wonderful. That's unfeasible. <laughs> it's unfeasible. Anyway, so there is no save against artillery, because if you get hit by a cannonball, it doesn't matter how good your armour is. So we've got three dead men at arms there. That's disastrous. Uh, but there you go. Fortunately, it wasn't more than three, so uh, I don't have to test for me being hit by a So Also worth pointing out, I rolled two ones. Had I rolled a third one, the ones would have taken precedent and the gun would have blown up and that would have been the end of my gun. But I got away with it. You got away with it. So that's good. Um, so successful shot there. And yep. then the... The, the skirmishers, yeah. So no. Six dice, ah yes. <laughs> I was going too fast. Skirmishers firing against skirmishers, we only get half dice. So although there are six men, three dice for a five or six. One. Just one. So um, skirmishers are normally safe for a five or six, but because these boys are behind a pavise, uh, it gives them uh, an extra one. So I need to save four, five, six. No. Okay, so I've lost a skirmisher there. Not a good start for the Lancastrians, I have to say. But these things happen. So let's draw the next card. Next card is... The bonus card. So, what we have to do is dice off to see who gets this to draw this bonus. Oh, yes, I've won that one. So I get to draw the, draw the bonus card. And uh, sorry, you want the bonus deck. The bonus deck. Okay. Oh, it's a special event. Draw a card from the special event deck. Play it now, or save it to play any time later in the battle. Good, that could come in handy. Okay, next card, Steve. Sergeant Rose. Oh, oh. well, I think um, he can give two. Or he can give one order to his unit with two actions. Yep. So he's going to ask them to gallop up eight inches and then charge home at those archers. So that's well within range. So off we go. Just hold on there. <laughs> Yeah. I have a terrain advantage. The front of your, one of your infantry companies is protected by a hidden ditch. The enemy can't charge you and will take two disarray tokens if they try to cross. So there you go. So I'm stopped. Now, what can we use? We haven't got a ditch. Let's stick something else in the way. Let's stick... Uh, that'll do. Stick a wall in the way. Right. So you got there. OK. If you uh, try and cross... You take two disarray tokens. That's what it says. Right. So I can't charge home, and if you try and cross, you take two disarray tokens. So we're stopped. We're stopped. Dead. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Next card. Next card. Lord Callan. Lord Callan. I'm going to give orders so to my two units. I can give up to three orders. Oh, I can give three orders, can't I? Yes. Because I'm within six inches and I'm a hero, I'm within six inches of each of those. So I'm going to 
Order those, order those, and order those. What do you think I'm going to order those to do, uh, I think they might be sharpening their they bows. They might, <laughs> yes. OK, um, I'm going to advance this one six inches. Only six inches. Yeah, out of range now. Just look at that. By a gnat's crotchet. Let's go up here. Six. I'm moving up six. Okie dokie. Your order tokens with you, units. Um, so that one, yes, yes, that's a pretty good. I think I'll give them an order to shoot twice at short range. This might hurt. It might. Although it looks like a wall, that is in fact a ditch, so it doesn't provide any protection at all. Not that cavalry will get any protection from a wall anyway, because anyway, anyway, here we go. Two, two. So I get two lots of twelve. Remember, I've already used one of my arrow storm, so I get two lots of twelve because it's at short range. I'm hitting for fives and sixes. Yeah. This should be good, unless there's something wrong with our bow strings today. That's a bit more like it. So that's that's five hits with the first volley. Come on. I think Sergeant Rose might be taking an early bath. Six, seven, eight. 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 So it's uh, eight hits, and he rolls to save, and uh, knights need a four, five, six save against shooting. Oh Goodness me. Three saves mm. on the positive side. <laughs> five lost. Five lost. Um, so first of all those five go. Four go. Four go. Plus him. Plus him. And yeah. because they take more than, more than three hits it means there's a chance of their officer or well, leader being, being hit. So Two more, they took five, so there's, you roll two dice. Don't get one, Steve. Oh, <laughs> my lucky day. So what was he, an adult? He was, was he? adult, oh, he's, yes. he's gone then, isn't he? Because he's only got one wound. There you go. So he's gone. In effect, they will, well. Well, they will, because <coughs> nobody can tell them to do anything. All no. they do is mill around in confusion. So that was good. They I'm quite pleased with that. Now, don't forget, I'm not. I nearly did. I've got to knock my arrow supply down to three. That's pretty good. So they'll test morale at the end of the turn. At the end of the turn. Let's draw another card. That's not going to go well. Captain Bingham. Captain Bingham. Well, I think I'll start. I'll have a bit of a chevauche. So I'm going to order my light cavalry to go swanning off. And light cavalry move... What do they move? Ten. So I can move 20 inches with them. And because they're in a swarm, they don't have to worry about changing facing or wheeling or anything like that. They can do whatever they like. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go out here, which is about there. OK, so that's that. They can't do anything there, uh, can they? Uh, no, they can't, because they've used their two actions. Harry Hotspur, hurrah. Um, yeah, we're gonna. He's gonna issue orders to both blocks of units, which he's in range of, yeah. um, and they're going to both move forwards. And if they can, open fire. So he's going to go six inches. Yeah. Purists may prefer the word shoot when it comes to uh, archery. <laughs> shoot, yeah. Fire. So all those games of Napoleon. Let's not be pedantic <laughs> about that. Why change the habits of a lifetime? So, they're within nine inches. Yeah, within nine inches, short range. But you, you've moved once, so you can only shoot once. Yeah. But you're hitting on fives and sixes. Twelve dice for a five or a six. Mm. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Six hits. That's tasty shooting. Steve. I think I need to point out that these are Andy's dice, yes. not mine. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, six saves. Uh, Archer's save for five or six. In here. Uh, that'll be none then. So that's six down. That's that's half that unit wiped out immediately. Five. Anybody who thinks we're we're faking these dice rolls, I assure you we're not. Right. That was a bad result. The other whoops group of archers will yeah. fire at the men at arms, but they're they hitting on sixes. Yes, it's long range. Could it? 
That's still pretty damn. Three pretty sixes. Good. Three. Now, men at arms save for three, four, five, or six. Let's see what I can do this time. Oh, save a lot. They're all safe. Clang, ping. They're tough. They're going head down. That's Sorry. Right. Make my archers down one. Okie dokie. That's it. Lancastrian, Lancastrian skirmishers. skirmishers. And artillery, which in my case, I don't have. Well, I suppose I better shoot back, hadn't I? Because they're not going to be there much longer. Um, yeah, so it's just my skirmishers. Like his, it's uh, six dice, but we halve it because we're against skirmishers. So I'm getting three, three for five or six. Hmm. One. One. He saves for five or six. No. One dead. Yeah. So skirmishers Ooh. fighting skirmishers. They usually cancel each other out. It's a bit of a waste of time, but you know, we're going through the motions here. Right. That's the last card. And because it's the last card uh, in any turn, it never gets drawn. Um, that's how the turn ends. And in this case, it was, it was a second bonus card. Okay. So we now have to go through the turn end sequence. Um, and it doesn't really matter what order you, you do it in, as long as you remember to do all these things. First of all, let's get rid of the debris. Or let's, um, let's get rid of the debris, yes. Uh, those will come off. There's no unit that hasn't received an order this turn. No, there isn't. If, so if there was a unit that hadn't received an order this turn, it could have shot. Uh, gets a free shot if, in the case of archers. Um, however, we do have a uh, couple of morale tests. Yes. Uh, the first one is for the unfortunate knights over there. who are now down to... Oh dear, well they're going to take some saves. So they've lost five. Are they in dis they're not in disarray because they didn't no, cross it, did they? No, they didn't so cross the ditch. You really need a six, don't you, Steve? And yeah, it's done, it's D6 plus one. You need a five or six yes. to keep going. No. Three. They so failed. They, they four. failed, and it's below four, so they're broken. If a unit routes, yes. it may affect another unit. Oh, yeah, these guys are going to have to test, they aren't they? They are going to have to test, yes. So, uh, because one of the conditions for having a morale test is when a broken friendly unit of equal or higher quality routes past through or past within 12 inches. Well, they're definitely of higher quality. Well, that was a theory when, when he recruited them. But uh, anyway, <laughs> so I'd like two, of, you, two of your finest um, <laughs> uh, army morale tokens, please, because that was a previously undaunted unit. Correct. Which has been broken. Thank you very much. And then these will need to take a morale test. Yes, so there's no adjustments one way or the other. Uh, Seven. Seven, they're fine. They're, fine. they're, they're okay. They're okay. If they thought brought, they were fancy duns anyway, they did, Andy. They did, they did. <laughs> if they, if they, there's always a bit of a uh, hidden jeopardy in this, sudden jeopardy with any morale test, because if you're all four or less, uh, you're broken. So, a morale crisis really is a morale crisis. You can find your whole army disappearing in the blink of an eye, as has happened to me on several occasions. Yes. There we go. Um, the other morale test we have is uh, is on these unfortunate archers who are down to six. Yep, aren't they? Steve. <laughs> they are. However, because they're infantry, they roll two dice. Now, I don't think there are any bonuses I need to add here. Let me just check. No, I think you're uh, clear. Morale tests. Duh, 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 duh. And there are any positive uh, qualities? They're not veterans, are they? No. They haven't got a hero attached? No, because he's next door. And they didn't win a melee this turn. Right, so it's just a straight throw. And I need to roll more than the number of casualties I've taken. So I need seven or more, which is an average sort of wrong, but the way things are going, who can, who can tell? Do your worst. Oh, oh. look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> now, it's a good job. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, they they, they love it. They love <laughs> it. Right. So we now reshuffle the play deck for, and start the next round. 